What's up, everybody? I'm Fosi, and this is one of my favorite games of all time. It's called Greedfall, and it's a little dated now, but, uh, man, does it hold up. Um, I have played this game previously, beginning to end, on extreme difficulty, but I've, oh, I've wanted to do another playthrough. And so that's what I'm going to be doing in this series. I'm going to be playing through on normal. I want a little bit more of a relaxed experience. Not quite so much uh, stress and strain. Uh, my last playthrough was... No HUD, extreme difficulty, just crazy. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There! Now, hold the pose. But what if I don't want to? Right. I'm gonna go with this. I like this face. And then, uh... Got to give him a nice beard. Yeah, there you go. Nice beard for you. It's like some anime eyebrows. What's going on with those? What is up with those? What about over here? You know, let's go with, like, these nice ones right there. Yeah. All right. Let's get eye color. Hmm. It's a nice color. Okay. Uh, this guy's calling out to me saying, I'm a warrior. A warrior type. There you go. Look at that scowl. Yeah. You're a, you're a frontliner. You're a frontline boy. I'm going to get up in there. Give him some... Uh, give him some hands. Go with... Uh, go with endurance. Yeah. I'm thinking... Uh, thinking endurance. I don't, you know, I don't necessarily know whether or not I want to go agility or strength, though. I guess we'll find that out in time. To start, we're going vigor. Yeah, that'll be good. Vigor, strength. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. That's a compliment, my lord, out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Your hang me. Particularity gives you character. You're still here? We've nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. Don't worry. I'll clean up the mess. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lord. You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir. Truly, I must be going. Uh, my lord, please, I beg you. Her Highness has personally requested I finish it. Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. Thank you indeed, cousin. Let's get in here been a long time since I have played this game. 
like close to a year. But such is. New titles come and go, and sometimes when you mean to get back to something, you just hey! take an extended trip. Green blood. Cut. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Oh, enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Hmm. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! Bring it on, Kurt. Hit you with those. and then I forget they force you to uh, potion. Well, Greenblood, one might think you had a proper master of arms. The best. And you already training for your new post of legate? Don't tire yourself. Flattery will get you nowhere. But for the fight, you have remembered your basics. Your performance just got you out of a final lesson. Unless you want to go through the paces again before we depart. No, thanks all the same. I have quite a few tasks to check off my list before we depart. And here you are already assuming your political functions. And in a hurry. Always too busy. Very well. If you ever want to go over your basics later, visit one of our barracks on the aisle. You'll always find a training partner to give you a friendly fight. I'll remember that. Thanks. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. On the contrary, I'm thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Ah, so the old goat is coming too. And there I was thinking I would die of boredom on the trip. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. <sighs> I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night and we haven't seen him since. You know Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Agreed. Agreed, my man. So, Kurt is our most loyal dude. One of my favorites. I kept him with me, I think, through my entire playthrough last time I played. I played a magic build.
What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill... Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort that to know my son has left on a mission to heal his people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. God, this game is a masterpiece. It's so good. I think I need to adjust my camera sensitivity. There we go. Just drop that down to here. There we go. Whoa, I turned it down and it went up. What's going on here? Oh. Never mind. It didn't go anywhere. I just forgot to save. Whoops. Well, that's better at least. Why, hello there, Kurt. Kurt? It's done. Sorry, Greenblood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You're right. Maybe he's already at the port. He was so eager to leave. This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. Well, all right. You come with me, Kurt. Where would you like to begin? I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it's certainly worthy of inspection. Yeah, that's a, that's a big negative, my man. I'll throw that out there. But can I, can I help you? What you need? That's a, that's not a place you put your hand there, fella. So, although I've played this before, I don't actually remember all the things about it. I remember a fair bit, but not everything. Hmm. Down here. 
Okay, so 50 meters to that, over 100 meters to this. Or almost 100 meters to this. Oh. can't jump us what's wrong with you <laughs> uh, master of arms and the legate here just you know doing uh doing their thing these guys think that they can they can jump us and have absolutely uh, no repercussion okay ooh I'm gonna take all that. I'm gonna take all that with me. Nothing like starting out with some beautiful loot. Oh, excuse me. I'm just gonna drop right off of there. Why, hello there. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tierfordy on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that. But I'm sure my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time, far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You're hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Yes, yes, indeed, my man, indeed. Go over here and talk to the Bridge Alliance real quick. See what these guys are all about. So I remembered not liking those uh, fanatics, as I call them, the zealots. They just rub me the wrong way. I'm pretty down with the Bridge Alliance, though. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade, I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Uh... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. 
They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Gladly. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord Desade. Lord Desade. Thanks, man. I love being the Lord of Sardines. Do do do. Let's see. Um. Fontaine family stuff. Okay, so there's a merchant there, question mark there. I don't remember anything about this game. Like, at all. This needs to be warm, though. I know that for sure. And then I can use the pistol a bit in, uh in combat for a bit of a damage increase. Okay. Torso. Good fortune. I love loot. Craftsmanship up. Always good. Leaded heel boots. <laughs> I mean... I guess. Do I take the loot chance here, though? I think I do. I think I put on more loot chance. Because who doesn't love more loot? Let's be honest. If you don't love loot, what are you doing? That's, that's all I've got to ask. If you don't love loot, what do you love? Let me know in the comments. If you only like loot, like the video. And if you absolutely hate loot, just subscribe to the channel and I'll take all the loot for you. Can I go this way? No. Okay. Excuse me, Kurt. We got things to do, my man. Kurt is my main dude. Hands down, one of my favorite characters in the whole game. I don't know if I'll keep him with me the whole time this time. Like, last time I played, I, I had him with me the whole time because I played a, a ranged character. I played a, a magic user, and I needed a frontliner. And so Kurt was my frontline. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little vial is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking, if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. 
But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. Hmm. Anybody had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. Maybe. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Hmm. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. That's fair. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I swear you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. What cart? I don't see a cart. Oh, it's over there. I'll go around the side. Ooh, a gate. Can I open the gate? I can open the gate. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. That person got deleted. Okay, bye. Well, you guys tried. You guys tried, and that's what matters. You just get in there, you try your hardest, and next thing you know, boom. Letter from the innkeeper to the servant. Louise. The weird alchemist of the Alliance who entered, rented a room upstairs specifically asked us not to clean it during his stay. This old fool must not want us to accidentally break his vials or something. So leave him to his filth. Customer is always right. Okay. Alchemical research book. These pages are covered in small, almost in illegible handwriting. Experiment results, patient observations, and incomprehensible symbols. The complexity of some recipes leaves no room for doubt. The author was a true alchemist and was certainly very knowledgeable. Okay. Wait, was that not his cart? It's over here. I'll take this. So... Okay, nothing there. So we went in the back, got jumped by thugs, and then there was nothing... Nothing here. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. Space doesn't jump. Have you finally made up your mind? 
Mm, let's see. I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us to prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right! Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. But Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. So, Kurt, do you want to explain to me how it is he managed to get away? When he's standing in a small wooden box and we're right here. Huh, Kurt? You wanna you wanna run that one by me, fella? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go. Let's go over here to uh Well there's the inn. Um, you know, if you walk around the chair, there you go. There you go. Find the charlatan. Find him upstairs, probably. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? Hmm. Ask about. Nope. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. All right. So I was hoping maybe he'd give me some dirt on the other dude, but. Nope, no luck. Oh, what's down here? Hello? Uh... Nope, I don't think I need to go there. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Ooh, seven gold coins. Do, do, do. Knock, knock. Oh. Crude iron ore and metal dowels. Is that what I said? It was metal dowels. Okay. Some uh, crafting materials, I suspect. Yoink. It's in here. Lock picking skill is not high enough. Well, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Oh, why, hello there, fella. Hold on, what you got over here? Let's see. Letter from an alchemist from Al Saad. Dear Arif, I'm genuinely sorry to learn that you have not found the peace you were hoping for in Serene. Since your departure from the academy, the situation has been deplorable. Those you had accused are now behaving as if the rules are, did not apply to them, regularly performing questionable experiments. There's nothing the rest of us can do apart from keeping a low profile. I sincerely hope that you will eventually find some place where you can be at peace. Your friend. Unnamed person. Hello. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin? Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. Okay. So what are you selling? Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? 
you don't understand. I fled, but I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Hmm. Okay. So what's up with you and Sahin, though, my man? Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy. To criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners. Making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Hmm. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocence. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? Hmm. I think it's time for you to go, fella. I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Wait, is this not the... Oh, stairs. Right. Ha! Okay. Stairs. What's in here? Do, 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 do. The servant's door. Hey. The lock's double bolted. I don't have the key. Don't have a key. Okay. Do I have a key here? I do have a key here. Okay, there's that key used. And innkeeper's key. That's what the we want. The tavern. Whoop. And... Let's go and find the alchemist. Can you use? We need to get him out of here as fast as we can. It's time to go back out here. Let's go see the mob out front. All right now. Please listen, I beg you. If you wanted to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you're angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd. I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves. He's trapped. He'll have to come out someday. You'll see. Hmm. You all get out of here. Citizens, in my capacity as legate of the congregation, I order you to disperse. Disperse? It's that thief you should be arresting. You hear me, everyone? The powerful are behind this charlatan. They want us to leave. We'll have nothing of it. Arm yourselves! Oh. To my help. So it's, you know, breaking the law to an unreal degree. 
sharpens to my help and death to the others Whoa. to my help and death to the others that's enough from you people right here Oh man, that that backslash though. Hey there, fella. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. You're just getting all oh, right. Far from danger, at least. Go and tell him the good news. Didn't mean to kill that guy. You just kind of got in the way. Whoopsie! My bad! Hold on, was that an axe that I just got? Hold on now. Old Cutlass Axe. Yeah, I'll take that. Absolutely. I like a nice axe. Who doesn't, though? I mean, come on. What do we got here? Nothing great. And the boots, officer's boots, those are okay. Again, nothing great. Alright, so we did that. We dealt with that crowd, I think, in the uh, the best way possible. Didn't mean to kill that guard, but he was just kind of there, being in the way. I mean, you put yourself in front of the sword, you catch the sword. So... Did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? I've gotten rid of the mob. Bravo. You don't go about things in a roundabout manner. You are free. Climb into your carriage and leave Serene immediately. Let me deal with Dr. Sahim. I owe you my life, sir. I will be eternally in your debt. I remind you to never step foot here again. I have no desire to return anyway. <sighs> Farewell. See you later, fella. We will see. Oh. Oh, man. I I forgot that this is a feature, and I absolutely love it. Go straight on back. Boom! Just like that. Man, I love that. Man, I just love that. It's so good. Your Excellency, Lord DeSade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally. Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. Hmm. You know, this character's a little bit, a little bit blunt and to the point. He's just, he, he smacks you right over the head. Doesn't really mince words. Why should I deliver him to you? You deliberately hid the truth about him from me. What? Might I remind you that you're in audience with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance? And you to a legate of the congregation of merchants that you treat like an imbecile. This man is indeed an alchemist of the bridge and he told me much about your disagreement of opinion. And of course you sided with him. Certainly not. I have no part to play in your quarrels. I just chased him from our city. Now, if you're still intent on placing him in irons, you need to capture him on your own lands. How embarrassing. I should have shown more honesty in your regard. Please accept my excuses. And this modest gift for the voyage that awaits you. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. Well, not exactly making friends, but, I mean, justice was served, so can't be too upset about that. Not at all. Uh, let's go see what the, uh, let's go see what the other bit here has. Uh, no, not that. Well, that's Captain Vosco. 
I guess we could go negotiate with the vendor, but I don't know if I want to go there quite yet. Uh, we hit level two. Which is good. What do we have here? Uh... Game, are you okay? You just freaked out. Okay, so firearms, divine magic rings, stasis. One-handed heavy weapons. Uh, mace, so maces, hammers, and axes are one-handed heavy weapons. Okay, so these are... Ah, long blades, and then two-handed heavy weapons. But what exactly are these? Um... So go here with it then? Oh my gosh. Alright, there we go. Got that selected. Attributes. Nothing here. No talents. Next attributes level 4. And of course we're getting skills regularly as it goes along. Journal. Side quest stuff. That's the one we want. The heretic hunt. Ooh, I see loot. Can I get back to that loot? Oh, it's a nice chest, too. Hold up. I gotta go around. Gotta go around. Chase the loot. Come on, can I go through here? I can. Ha <laughs> ha. Loot. Ooh, yes. Old embroidered double. Doublet. Double T. Pop, 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 Get out of my way. This. Can I go up? Ooh, I can. The merchant is there. Oh. And death to the others. So can I? Oh man, those combos though. Those combos though with the blade. Oh, so good. I want to get into the crafting stuff as soon as possible. Maybe make myself a nice like big heavy axe or something. Oh. What are you tink tinking on there, fella? Just some rocks? Okay. Well. About your business then. I won't disturb you any longer. Find the smuggler. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. There are some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sade, the prince's nephew. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. <laughs> Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? 
We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Right. Uh, let's go talk about the heretics. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails. Not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you, why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? Mm. Yeah, let's, let's give them the details. A couple of heretics are planning on leaving Serene. The ambassador of Teleme has entrusted me with the job of capturing them. Happy to see that you trust me enough to seek my counsel in the affair. Just so happens that I heard someone talking about the couple. The Cardinal's men are far from discreet. They are making quite some ruckus, asking to search our warehouses. We, of course, refused entry. Only the Nords have access. I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I'm certain your potential stowaways aren't far. But we won't allow you to make a search to grab them. Not officially, at least. What do you mean? That discretion and malice are often more useful than titles and words. Ooh, ho, ho. all right. Spicy response, my man, but okay. Hmm. What you do you know? You heard anything about my cousin by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern, but I haven't heard anything else. That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. Hmm, about this cabin boy. Uh, they already told us it's been two days, so acquaintances. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Oh, that opened up a new thing. This Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Lauro. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. All right, go. Cool. Be back soon, Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. Agreed. Agreed. But we'll have to do that in the next episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And would remind you, if you're feeling... Uh, Oh, so kind to uh, drop a like, a comment, and even subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more. Uh, thank you so much for your time, and until next time, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and keep moving forward, my friends. We'll see you in the next episode.